let's revisit the ntsc 2017 stage 1 discussions for maths sir may I please ask a question yeah go ahead please throw the light on the student who is asking the question sir besides providing the solution will you also be highlighting the underlying concept yes i would be highlighting the concept too okay let's begin the discussion uh, this question says that in a right angle triangle the hypotenuse is 1 cm longer than the base and 2 cm longer than the perpendicular so it means the base is 1 cm less than the hypotenuse so i can say that b is equal to h minus 1 and perpendicular is h minus 2 now if i apply pythagoras theorem what i get here x square becomes sum of the sum of the squares of these two h minus 1 whole square plus h minus 2 whole square now if i simplify what i get here x square is equal to h square minus 2h plus 1 plus h square minus 4h plus 4 so if i further simplify what i get here x square then minus of 6h and plus of 5 equals 0 now if i factorize what i get here h minus 5 and h minus 1 so it becomes h square minus 6x plus 5 so i get two values of h which is 5 and 1 now h cannot be equal to 1 because if h is equal to 1 then this becomes 0 and this becomes negative so it is not possible so h is equal to 5 so this is 5 and this is 1 cm less so this is 4 And this is two centimeter less. This of this becomes three. So five plus four plus three becomes twelve. This question says that the roots of these equations are equal, and we know that the roots are equal. Then the discriminant must be equal to zero. So what is the discriminant? We know that the discriminant formula is b square minus four ac, and this is b. So b square minus four. This is a, and this is my c. This equals zero. So if I simplify this, I get here nine k square is equal to sixty four. Then k becomes equal to plus minus eight by three. In this question, I need to find out the sum of the cube of these three numbers, and it was given that this is equal to a, this is equal to b, and this is equal to c. So I need to find out a cube plus b cube plus c cube, and we know that the formula a very Interesting formula is a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus three abc equals a plus b plus c, and then I have here a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus c. This is very interesting and very important formula. From here we know that what is a plus b plus c? What is a? A is x minus y. So a plus b plus c means x minus y plus y minus z plus z minus x. This becomes zero because x and x are cancelled. So this expression is nothing but x minus y plus y minus z plus z minus x. So from here you can see that all the terms get cancelled, and this becomes zero. So this is equals zero. Then a cube plus b cube plus c cube becomes three abc. And what is my abc? A is x minus y. So what I get here is a is equal to three x minus y, y minus z, and z minus x. This question involves the properties of the tangents, and it is given that P A and P B are two tangents to the circle, and the angle between tangents is given as 110 degree. So the line joining P and the center, the angle is half. So this angle will be half of 110 degree will be 55 degree. Now we need to find out the angle P O A. This angle we need to find out, and we know that the, by the properties of tangents, the tangent is perpendicular to the radius, the normal. So This angle is 90 degree. So this angle becomes 180 minus 90 and 55. So 180 minus 90 plus 55. So what we get here? 90 minus 55 is nothing but 55 degree. Uh, this is a very simple question of probability, which says that two coins are tossed tossed once, and we need to find out the probability of getting at least one tail. So what are the different cases? At least one tail means. First one coin tail and another head. First coin head and another tail and two tails. Now we know that this is an unbiased 
coin. So the probability of getting tail or head is half. So here the probability of getting tail is half and head is half. So getting tail and half and head is half into half. And head and tail is half into half. And both tail is half into half. So 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. If we add, we get here 3 by 4. Again, this is a very simple question of trigonometry. And we need to find out the value of 1025 and 1035 into 1045 into 1055 and 1065. So we see here that 1055 is nothing but cot of 90 minus 55 is cot of 35. And cot of 35 is nothing but 1 upon 10 of 35. Similarly, 1065 is nothing but cot of 25 and cot of 25 is nothing but 1 upon 10 of 25. So we are in here with 1025, gets cancelled to 1025. 1035 gets cancelled to 1035 and 1045 is 1. So the final answer is 1. This is a very simple question of an AP and it says that the first of the AP is 5, the last one is 45, and the sum of the AP is 400. And then we need to find out the fourth term. Uh, we just apply the formula of the AP to find out the number of terms and the common difference. Now we apply the sum formula, sum is equal to 400 is equal to n by 2, first term is 5, first plus last term, so 5 plus 45. So if we simplify n becomes 800 upon 50. So if we simplify we get n is equal to 16. So we have total terms is 16. Now we apply the formula of the general term to get the value of common difference. Now the last term is 45. So 45 is equal to a is 5 plus n minus 1 n is 16, 16 minus 1 is 15 into common difference. So if we simplify, we get the value of d is equal to 40 upon 15 is nothing but 8 by 3. Now we need to find out the fourth term. So again we apply the formula and the fourth term is a plus n minus 1 into common difference and my a is 5, n is 3, 4, so 4 minus 1 is 3 and common difference is 8 by 3. So 5 plus 8, so we get here 13. Uh, this question says that a rectangular field, a tubular grassy field is given of dimensions 25 meter into 45 meter and a cow is tied at the corner of the rope length 12 meter and it says that if the length of the rope is increased to 23 meter then find out the additional area the cow will be able to graze. So initially this was the area the cow was able to graze and when the length is increased the cow will be able to graze this much area. So the additional area will be the difference of the two areas and the area is nothing but one fourth of the circle. So the increase in area is one fourth of the pi bigger r 23 square minus 1 by 4 of pi initial radius was 12 square. So we simplify this we get here 1 by 4 pi 23 square minus 12 square and on simplification and putting the value of pi is 22 by 7 given we get here 302.5 square meter but this doesn't match with any of the options so the, all the four options given are not correct and the correct answer is 302.5 square meter uh, this question says that a sphere is given of radius 6 cm then it is melted and recasted into a cylinder of radius 3 cm then we need to find out the height so when it is melted and recasted then the volume remains same the volume of this is 4 by 3 pi r cube and the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h so pi r square h so from here when we simplify we get the value of h is equal to 4 by 3 cube and 6 cube so we get here 4 into 2 cube so we get here h is equal to 32 so the answer is 32 centimeter this question says that a triangle ABC is given where AD is the median and E is the midpoint of the median. Now when AD is the median means D is the midpoint. When D is the midpoint if this length is X, this, this is also X. And E is the midpoint, so if this length is Y, then this is also Y. Now we want to find out the area of triangle ABC is nothing but half into base into height. So the base is 2X and the height. We don't know the height. So let's assume an angle theta which the median makes with makes with this axis, this BC. So the height, if this is the height, then this height becomes, this is 2y, so this becomes 2y cos theta. So into 2y cos of theta. Now for triangle BED, 
This is the triangle my my triangle BED. This is x and this is y and this angle is theta. So the height becomes y cos theta. So the area becomes half into base into height y cos theta. So if I take the ratio, I get here half into x into y into cos of theta. So this becomes 4 by 1. So the ratio is 4 is to 1. This question says that the mode of a series given is 5. Median is 3, then we need to find out the value of mean. Now we can apply the formula which says that 3 median is equal to mode plus 2 mean. So from here 3 median is equal to mode plus 2 times mean. So from here mean becomes 9 minus 5 4 by 2 is equal to 2. So the mean becomes 